By the 1980s, scientists concluded that certain chemicals were destroying the ozone layer, which shields the Earth from the sun's harmful ultraviolet radiation. Restoring the ozone layer is vital to protect life on Earth, including the prevention of millions of cases of skin cancer and cataracts. To respond to this crisis, 190 countries have united under a landmark global environmental treaty, the Montreal Protocol, which requires the phase-out of nearly 100 ozone-depleting substances, or ODS. To support this transition in developing countries, the multilateral fund of the Montreal Protocol has provided about $2 billion for more than 5,000 projects in 139 developing countries. These projects, managed by the national ozone units working with their governments, have helped developing countries reduce their ODS consumption by about 80%. A new initiative proposes to help tackle the remaining challenge. Replacing chillers, which operate on CFCs, is an integral part of the global program to implement the Montreal Protocol. The new chillers are not only ozone-friendly, but they are also much more energy efficient. Chillers are large refrigeration systems used for climate control in offices, hotels and shopping malls, as well as other industrial applications. In the developing world, 19,000 old chillers are still in use emitting thousands of tons of ozone-depleting CFCs each year. Retiring these units can be expensive. But over the long term, maintaining them is even costlier, both to the environment and to profits. Fortunately, demonstration projects on three continents are proving both the technical and financial viability of replacing old chillers with new energy-efficient ones. We have received enthusiastic support from our implementing agencies, the World Bank, UNDP, UNEP and UNIDO, as well as our bilateral agencies. We have also seen a good response to our initiative from building owners, chiller manufacturers and other technical and financial stakeholders.